Are we doing a food video? What? Are we doing a food video? No, I'm playing, can't you see? The TV's not even turned on. I don't even have time, come let's do this. Okay, fine. You can't, you can't even act, you'll never make it into Bollywood. <clears throat> Alright guys, so today we are cooking chicken fried rice. And this is going to be a quick video, so I'm going to show you what the ingredients are first and we're going to start the video. So over here, <clears throat> I have some cooked rice and over here are some frozen vegetables and this is olive oil right here and this is soy sauce and this is Himalayan salt, red chili powder and barbecue sauce. And right here is the chicken breast that is cooking. So all that's in this is, keep focusing, is olive oil and chicken breast and I'm just cooking it with <clears throat> for the past 10 minutes. I don't want to cook it during the video because um, I don't want to cook it during the video because it's going to take too long for the video to be done. Okay, so this is the process to do it. Come around this side. <clears throat> so first thing, first thing I have here is the frozen vegetables and in this pan I have olive, olive oil in the bottom and I'm going to add all the frozen vegetables to it. And the next step, next step is I have Himalayan salt, so I'm going to add that. Just three, four twists of that. And now I have red chili powder. <coughs> Gonna add just a bit of that for taste. And now I have the rice. The rice I'm gonna add on top. It's already cooked, I cooked it like 20 minutes before. Cooked rice, spread it out well. Turn up the heat a little bit. So I want to I want to let you guys know about the Himalayan salt that I'm using. So this bodybuilder, I went to him in the gym, uh, no, in the store, and I asked him, I'm like, what is the best micronutrient other than the proteins, the carbs, the fats, and stuff that we can get? Other than that, what is the best micronutrients to get? And then he said salt. Like forever, I've been thinking, oh, reduce my salt amounts, you know, like because for bodybuilding purposes and stuff but he said go get Himalayan salt not this salt so this salt right here if you can see that is iodized salt not this salt this is the unhealthy version I'm talking about these ones it says <clears throat> pure Himalayan salt so get that and put it with your food you know like don't be scared to have your salt if you're into bodybuilding <clears throat> don't be scared to have your salt because what it does is it keeps water in your muscle and keep your muscles full so you're gonna have a lot of strength in the gym and stuff like that. All right, so the rice is cooking and all the veggies are cooking. Keep stirring it. And, oh shit, this is hot. Over here, the chicken breast. So I think the chicken breast is done cooking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it, all the chicken, to this. Someone is calling me during production, which is not a very good sign. And I have to mix it. Mix it up. So now I'm going to add um, soy sauce for more, for more flavor to the food. Just a little bit though, not too much. And I'm going to keep stirring it. I had a I had a crazy leg workout today, and this is my meal after that. So 
it should be really good. This meal consists of carbs, proteins, all my veggies are in this. And I have some sauces, some salt, Himalayan salt and stuff. <coughs> and I'm going to add just a tiny bit of barbecue sauce for more flavor to it. That's it. And I'm going to stir this up. All right guys, so so this is gonna take about three minutes, you gotta cook it in the pan. So I'm just gonna quickly recap in like 20 seconds what you need for this to cook this. So all I had was, I had boiled rice, white rice. I had mixed vegetables, which is from this package right here. So you can just go get this, it's called Green Giant Mixed Veggies. You can just get it from there. And then I had olive oil, which I added. I had red chili powder and I had soy sauce, Himalayan salt, I had barbecue sauce and the chicken breast, I got it from this box which is called Zabiha Halal Chicken, chicken breast and this is how the chicken comes in it, let me just show you guys quick, it comes in pieces like this, it's all raw so I, I had to cook it from scratch, you guys can get the fr <coughs> already frozen uh, cooked chicken if you want to too. Okay. So right here, I think it's done. I'm gonna plate it. So So this is how it looks, get a good shot, then it's kind of hot right now, that's how it looks, and I'm going to do a quick taste test and let you guys know how it is. Very hot. It's actually one of the best meals I've prepared for myself after the gym. Usually I have sweet potatoes and eggs. That's getting too boring. So now this is a very healthy version for a post-workout meal and it tastes good. I know bodybuilders say, I know bodybuilders say um, that if you don't eat for function, we don't eat for taste. But you will get bored of that. You have to, you know, like you're human. Even if you're a bodybuilder, if you're anything, you're human still. So you have to have that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you guys have any more questions on how this is done, like from the beginning, from the process, like even boiling the rice and stuff, leave your comments down below. And please give this video a thumbs up because it helps me a lot. And I'll keep making more videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.